Hey everybody, I'm Drac. I'm Shadow. And we're still stuck underwater. We're still in Atlantis. We are. And we don't have Milo Thatch, therefore we don't know what anything says. But that's okay, I don't think Milo Thatch did everything said. That just makes me want to go to Cookie. Or not Cookie, what, what was the doctor's name? I love the doctor in Atlantis. That was just because he talked all over the place. Alright, yeah, we are in the Lost Precursor City trying to get more power cells, and we are really close to our goal, so hopefully by this video we'll be able to get into the third area. With some luck. With some luck. With a spoonful of sugar, because it helps the medicine go down. Wow. We were talking about Star Wars. I mean, you know, Disney. Right. It could have been worse. I could have gone like really classic Disney. No, I can't, because we'll get sued. And I don't want to pay for a lawyer. But I could have always told you to let your conscience be your guide. And your sister would be so proud of me for going for that reference. It's like, hee hee, that's old Disney. All right, and if you can see back in the back red tube, there is actually a power cell. So you'll notice that the other two tubes have scout flies. Anybody want to take a roll on whether or not I care about them? No. No, no, not so much. They don't have power cells, and power cells are what make me move forward. Contrary to whatever you guys might want to believe, I'm actually not that much of a completionist, and so I will only do the bare minimum unless a game gives me a lot of motivation to do it. And this game, not so much. You know, I hate to sound like a broken record, guys, but this is not going to be 100 power cells. We're not going to be doing completionist stuff. A game really has to provide something for, for me to consider it, and also I think for Alex to consider it. Yeah, pretty much. This wife, though, she's the real completionist. Oh, yeah, she's totally, like, oh, she'll put herself through the pain. Like, hon, you don't have to play the game that way. Yes, I do. That, it got to the point I couldn't watch her play anymore because for her, with her, it'd be uh, play a little, pause, look at the guide, play some more, pause, look at the guide, <laughs> rinse in your face. Oh, dude, you, see, you missed the whole concept of wow completion and stuff. I mean, you know, having to run a dungeon over and over and over. Thankfully, you know, her PC at the moment is often in our room while well, my PC is off. Uh, in our in another room so that I can do recording. Well, she'll just sit there and keep doing the inst or keep doing dungeons until she gets that rare mount or whatever. Pretty nuts. Now we can see her doing shiny hunting in Pokemon. She wasn't. I wouldn't be surprised if she wasn't. Come on, man! I'd already made that assumption. But you know what? She's a gamer, so she can play the game however she wants. Oh, and that actually reminds me. We were talking about this in the last video, and I'm going to bring it up again. So, you haven't played the Conquer game. No. Not Conquer's bad version. Had you ever wanted to? I guess maybe. I've heard just, to, just to see a dirty rare? Just to see a dirty rare, maybe, yeah. Um, I never finished... Um, I didn't play Bad Fur Day, but I, I picked up uh, the remake a while ago, and and thought it was fun, you know, thought it was a classic rare game, but with a little bit more of an adult tinge to it. Um, I would finish it again, I'm just kind of surprised that, you know, you're a lover of rare games, I, I would have thought you would have finished that. I probably wasn't quite old enough to be playing those kinds of games when they came out. That's true. Oh, oh, wait, it, it was like out. the only rated R game on, on the in Nintendo 64, and therefore horribly advertised that way. Ah, that's 41. Yay, four more. And no, I'm not going for all the orbs in this room. Not worth it. Not worth it. They are indeed. And they're some of the worst enemies to try and kill. Because you gotta do that downward kill. And one killed me. 
say something really teary at the funeral. Like, how am I gonna get changed back now? By using your legs and walking. I'd like to point out, Daxter, you eventually got your own PSP game. Which means you're not an invalid. This moment of animal cruelty has been brought to you by... I am's pet show? Yeah, I guess so. There, there you go. Just looking for the ironic one to sponsor me. I hate those lurkers, I really do. They are such a pain. I'd just like to point out one inch away from the dark eco pit. I are the awesome. I'm gonna have to actually admit I never played Donkey Kong 64. That's because I saw my sister playing it and uh, to me it felt too much like a Banjo Kazooie game. It's like, I like Banjo Kazooie. <laughs> Don't get me wrong. I like Banjo Kazooie. But uh, when I think Donkey Kong, I think of the old SNES style titles. I don't think of Banjo Kazooie as a Donkey Kong game. No. But I mean, I, you know, for a collector. Donkey Kong 64, I still think, holds the record for most stuff to collect. So, and uh, I actually found it funny because uh, your sister was having problems with that, too. She couldn't play, like, you had to go and get the Nintendo coin by playing the classic Donkey Kong. And she couldn't do it. I was, like, sitting there, watch her go through the pain, and I'm like, you know, I'm sitting there fighting with myself. It's not that hard. It's not that hard. And finally, I, you know, she just kind of looked at me and went, help. I'm like, you've never played this game at all? No. And I busted it out. Like, I was rusty, so I'm like 10 tries. Way, way less than what she had. Oh, no. It's like, I just helped you in your completionist problem. Does that make me an enabler? <laughs> Yes, it does. Yeah, yeah, a little bit. I enabled your sister, Alex. I'm and I'm just causing, like, a bunch of random damage to myself, so, you know, ignore me. Oh, look! More timed platforms. Will I make it? Nope. Of course I will. Come on, guys. Yeah, for real. I'm not that bad a gamer. Quiet, all of you that want to say something different. People on YouTube are watching. That's right, Mr. Peabody. Quiet, you. Alex gets the award, this LP, <laughs> for doing the correct reference to Mr. Peabody. Quiet, you. I always love that part. Yep. Quiet, Chew. That's so great, Mr. Peabody. Quiet, Chew. Alright, and now we get to do another minigame. Slip sliding away. Uh, this is, to me, a real Tony Hawk emulating. Oh, yeah. Or uh, SSX. Kind of thing. The snowboarding stuff. Yeah. It's not like Sonic ever did this, either. No, not at all. Oh, no. Instead of making Sonic run, we'll just give him a snowboard! Who's complaining? The snowboarding parts were awesome. Uh, yeah, they, those were probably some of the better implemented stages. I can complain a lot about Sonic. Particularly one Sonic game. That is Voldemort and shall not be named. But, I can't complain about the, snow, the, like, the opening snowboard of... Sonic Adventure 2. That was awesome. I'll bet we can get all those things charged at once. Gee, Daxter, never would have thought of that. Thank you. It's almost like I was trying to do that the entire time. Oh, come on, come on. You can make it. You can make it. Almost there. You can't do it, Gold Leader. Pull up. There we go. And I took damage, and I don't care. Ah. Oh, 
Oh, look, shiny button. Elevator go up the hole. For those who are old enough to actually get a Tiny Toons reference. I'm trying to think, was, was Baby Plucky a Tiny Toons reference or was it Animaniacs? Uh, Tiny Toons, yeah. Tiny Toons, yeah. Because Plucky was Tiny Toons. Wow! You raised a piece of the underwater ruins to the surface. It seems you can use eco in ways we've never seen before. A power cell surfaced with the room. Climb up there and get it. Okay, now I have to be honest with some people. This took more effort than I thought it would. So I've cut out some of that effort. If you have a problem, I'm sorry. I don't think anybody has a problem. No. But I had to take a couple of attempts at this thing. And there we go. Magical cut. It's almost like we're breaking the fourth wall. I don't think fourth walls exist in these. No, not really. Okay. So that is 44. And I think we've earned enough precursor orbs that we have earned our 45 goal. Yay. Oh my gosh. Collecting stuff. It's fun. <laughs> For the win. See, I like these games, but I'm kind of on, on your level where, like, I would not go my wife's angle and collect every note in the level kind of thing or every jiggy or or, or star or coin or whatever. I do that at least for most of Banjo because it would be... Not for me. I, I, tend to, I tend to want to do the bare minimum so that I can get there, and then if the completion is worth it, then I will go back and do it all. But, like, in some cases with most of these platformers, it's not. Oh, you have the orbs. Here's a power cell we agreed upon. I love it. She's like, I've got to pose for my picture that nobody's taking. She's still very British. Indeed. And that's 45! 45. 45. Which means... Onward! We've got a big lurker to take out. Now, this would be an appropriate time to cut, wouldn't it? Oh, maybe I'll start cutting. Oh, maybe this is the end. Of no, I'm, I'm kidding. I'll give you guys this. We don't hate you that much. Unless you troll us, and then we hate you. No, we don't hate you. I've thought about it. We don't hate you. We just don't agree with your way of life. Alex, please stop me from being this. Okay. Cool. Stop. Thank you. Great. You have the cells for the machine. They ought to provide enough power to lift that boulder. There we go. Now, be careful facing that monster lurker at the top. Wait! Uh, I'll stay here and protect Kira. Jack, I think you're ready to handle that monster without me. Oh, really heroic of you. Yeah, I had no problem ruining Daxter's day. Although I kind of halfway expected Jack to be looking at a rump. Well, he was doing it before. I especially like that leer, too. It was like, yes, I approve. That is a fine specimen. And here's our boss. Uh, now, quick little er, tip to people who are interested. Test running this guy, I did not remember the strat, and so he took forever. This time around, I thought it would take like one or two tries, and or more like three or four tries, and got it in one try. So, thankfully. And then if you can see off in the distance, Alex, another type of eco. Yellow eco. We don't touch the yellow eco. Don't touch the yellow eco. Exactly. It's a very inappropriate eco. I'm kidding. We, we want to touch the yellow eco all day long. And why? You'll find out. Use the 
blue to get a bridge. And we get to play Indiana Jones! Yay! And now we touch the yellow eco! Laser power. Hadouken! It gives us the power of magic. The gathering. No, not really. It gives us the powers of the Dark Magician! You were fine, trying to figure out how I was going to plug that, right? Yep. Applauding me, though? Here on Dragon Shadow, we, gl we golf clap all of our mediocre achievements. I was about to say Shaq to Drado. Dang it, Altarian! Alright, more shooting, more shooting! This just became a Contra game! Uh-oh, run away from the boulder! Run away from the boulder! There we go. Yeah, I already spoiled it. I got in one try. So... Yeah. If you guys are wondering, no, 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 maybe he's lying! Nope, I only do that in Fantasy Star Rooms. Or LPs. What a twist! By the way, I must say, Alex, when, when you put up that uh, episode title, you were inspired by WoW, weren't you? Yep. Oh. I'm so proud of you. Ah, uh, and there we go! Yeah! I'm running back just because I'm like, playing it safe, playing it safe! And there we go, power cell number 46! Alright! Great work! The people of Rock Village are breathing a collective sigh of relief. But there's no time to celebrate. Use your zoomer to navigate the mountain pass up ahead. Be careful! It looks like the lurkers have rigged the whole pass with explosives. When you reach the volcanic crater, be sure to visit the Red Sage's lab and activate the teleport gate so that Father and I can join you. Oh, Alex. You thought it was over. Okay, so the next segment is, again, another Zoomer segment. Um, it's just basically a race to get to the end where there's a lurker basically holding the dynamite switch. You gotta kill him before they get to him, otherwise he's gonna blow up the whole mountain pass. Oh my! Those lurkers must be headed for a detonator at the end of the canyon! But oh, wait, wait, why am I not going? What? What? No, 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 no! Come on, Jack! No! Dang it, Kara! No. He was too busy trying to leer at her through the communicator. No, I actually, like, I was kind of halfway going, okay, do, do we need to hear this dialogue? But then, kind of halfway realized in the middle of recording this that she just repeated herself. So. And this is an example of bad zoomer control. Don't give me a second, or don't try and give me a second chance, just let me fall, so that I can get back to it. And I love it, you can hear the creaking of their wheels. It's sound design, Alex, it's sound design. Sound design. Indeed. Oh, and they're winning thus far. I heard where we died before. Come on, Frank, you can do it! You can do it! Uh, oh, oh, there we go. Indeed. I'm so proud of myself. <laughs> Alright, we're actually halfway through. We gotta get through the cave and then we're there. Through the cave of wonders. We are the diamond in the rough. That we are. 
Not just of this LP, but all other LPs. We are the diamond in the rough. Very, very rough. Hmm. What are you trying to say, Alex? Alright. And there we go! And another power cell, so 47! Alright. Okay, and before we head over to the Red Sage's lab, we are going to take another break. Once again, I am Drac. I'm Shadow. And we'll see you next time for the Volcanic Crater.